Hello, this is Clop321, and this time I'm recording a tutorial on HD 120. No, 1280 by 720, and I made the font extra large just for you all. And I've also done the same thing in the browser. So, here I have this file, and what I'm going to do today is show you how to include, but it's not really um, execute certain files. So, I could say I'm going to make a new file here and I'm going to say it's not even PHP file I'm just going to say in HTML and I'm going to put in title and say blah blah and I'm going to put this in head and I'm going to cut this here and paste it over here and then go down and make the body And now I'm going to say this thing one two three and save. And I'm going to save it as um, uh, my file .html. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say uh, contents equals and I'm going to say file get contents. I'm going to say my file .html. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back to the browser and refresh. Now nothing happens here. Okay, and you don't see anything here because I haven't actually echoed anything, but it has been included. So if I just go and echo the contents and save it and then go back to the browser here, you'll see testing one, two, three, and up here in the uh in Firefox it says blah blah for the title. So if I go back here and let's just say I want to edit the contents first like if I want to do that string replace thing I can go contents equals and then SCR replace and uh, I'm going to search for blah blah which is the title and I'm going to say eat my uh, shorts and then I'm going to go on and say the subject is the contents. Uh, save that. And go back here. Now as you can see, it says eat my shorts right in there in the title. However, back in the file, I never changed a thing. Still blah blah. The same thing can apply to the testing123. Which I think I said it that way. And... Uh, if I refresh this, looks like I forgot that I put a space in there. I'll make this uh, on top. And I'll put this down there. Put a space there, save and refresh here. Now you can see it put in this and replace that, even though this has been untouched. Now I can show you in a future tutorial how to save files. However, right now we're just going to get a file. And, um, this can apply to PHP as well. Like if I made a new file and uh, it's a PHP file, I'm going to say echo uh, toilets are fun and save. And I'm going to say that it's a toilet.php. And I'm going to change this to toilet.php here. And if I save it, you'll see that uh, you don't really see anything but here in the source code you can see how it echoed out the PHP code and did not actually execute it now if we wanted to include it we would just use we would replace this with include and take this part out uh, but the point of this tutorial is for the uh, for the function uh, file get contents now uh, there are other uh, parameters which you can set which I've never really needed to use so I'm not going to go over them. That's all for this tutorial and uh, if you want to uh, see my site it's clublove321.com I've uh, got a tutorial section set up now where I have everything uh, posted and with the sources 
that look mostly like this um, where you can copy and paste them to your own editor if you have any questions you can actually use my comment or a contact me page and that's on my main site and I'm on my tutorial section prefer you use my tutorial section as one as it works better and uh, that's all for today uh, this is Klopp3 one eat my shorts and I'm signing off